Good afternoon, dear traders. Today we review VR Sync Chart Indicator. This indicator can synchronize all selected windows in the MetaTrader terminal. Now 8 chart windows are open in the example, and this indicator is installed in every window. It will synchronize absolutely all the objects that I will draw in any window. Let's see how it works. I draw trend line. Indicator will automatically synchronize this line with every window. I can change or clone the line, set it at any angle. The indicator will automatically repeat everything I do. Lines can be controlled in any window. As you can see, the indicator synchronizes everything in every window. To disable the window from synchronization, just click the button in the lower right corner. After clicking it, this window does not synchronize and does not transfer synchronization to other windows. I have set the H1 time frame, but the indicator can work with other time frames. Let's set M5 for one window. M15 and M30 for the next ones. The indicator will synchronize the lines in each of these windows. It is very convenient when you need to do technical analysis very accurately, point by point. You do not need to switch between time frames in one window. You draw a line on the hourly chart and see it on the M15 chart. On the M15 you can adjust it more accurately. The indicator can work with any objects that are in MetaTrader terminal. For example, with the Fibonacci grid. It can be stretched on the hourly chart and adjusted on the 15 minute chart. It's the most accurate one. The indicator also synchronizes the properties of graphical objects, such as color. I can change color, make it thicker, and the indicator changes our grid in every open window. To remove an object from the chart, select it in the window where you do not need it. For example, we do not need the FIBO grid on the H1 chart. Go to Object Properties, Display, uncheck Display on all time frames, and select the time frame you don't use. Monthly one will make do. As a result, the object disappears from the chart of the selected time frame. The indicator also synchronizes cloned objects. To clone an object, select it, press Ctrl and drag, and it will appear in all windows at once. If we delete the object, objects will be deleted in other windows. The indicator also works with labels, such as thumbs up and triangles. The label properties will also change in all windows at once. The triangles will also synchronize with every open window. Any object, even the GAN net, will be synchronized via this indicator. Now let's talk about the settings. There are only five of them in the indicator. They are very simple but you need to make sure that the indicator has the same settings in every window. 
all the settings that you need. Because the indicator, depending on the settings you choose, will synchronize those settings in all windows. And if some window has other settings, they may not work. I recommend using the same indicator settings in every window. So, the first setting is Synchronize all objects that are selected. If it is enabled, the indicator will synchronize absolutely all objects. If disabled, the indicator will synchronize only those objects that are selected. Let me show you how this setting works. For example, let's check this window. The setting is set to off which means that commands from this window will only affect objects that are selected. The indicator creates the line, but will not synchronize it until you select it in the original window. For the line to synchronize, it must be selected. After deselecting, synchronization stops. To synchronize all the objects again, we need to set the setting back to ON. Then all the lines in every window will synchronize. The next setting is Any character. It allows you to use the indicator only in those windows where one financial instrument is displayed. If it is switched on, the objects are synchronized in all windows with the same currency pair. If it is switched off, the objects will be synchronized even if there are different financial instruments in the windows. Here we set pound to dollar and we are going to draw a line. But you need to make notice that dollar's price is 1.1233 and pound to dollar is 1.30. So for this line to appear on the pound chart, we need to adjust it according to the price. This feature is useful for the analysis of pairs, the price of which is about the same. Like Euro to Dollar is 1.12 and uh, some other instrument with price about 1.12. Then there will be sense in synchronizing the lines. Otherwise, the line will simply not be visible in one of the charts. It will not reach the price of the currency pair. The next setting is Sync Color. If it is enabled, the indicator will synchronize the color of objects in all windows. Sync Style. When enabled, the indicator will synchronize the line style. Sync Width is responsible for synchronizing the line thickness. If you disable it, the commands to synchronize the line thickness from the selected window will not be sent to the other windows. But only on condition, if the settings in all windows are the same. From here comes command to make the line thicker and from other windows command to make the line thin. So that's why we do not see what we want to right now. To make it happen we need to... We need to make the indicator settings identical in all windows. Indicators list, let's see the properties. 
on, 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 and the last one is off. Let's check it here. Indicators list, properties, on, 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 off. And now, when we make the line thicker, the changes we make to it will not transfer to other window. Even though the line itself will synchronize. We hope this video was useful for you and that you like indicators and programs shown in it. If you liked this video, please feel free to subscribe, press the like button and share it. By doing so, you will motivate us to create even more interesting programs and videos for you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.